Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be talking about extension tubes for your camera lens so that you guys can capture some macro photography on a budget. Also, I'll tell you guys what an extension tube is and what it can and cannot do. And finally, I'll tell you guys if this is worth your money or whether it's just one of those scams where you waste your money and time. So let's test out this alternative. Let's go. Now, here's the extension tube itself. Feels fairly cheap, but that's what you're paying for for around $30. For those who don't know how an extension tube works, it makes the camera lens itself further away from the camera sensor, making it able to get a lower minimum focusing distance. This enables you to get closer than your usual lens and can get some really nice close-up shots of insects or whatever you want. You can get an extension tube from Amazon, eBay, or anywhere online, or you can get it locally. But when you purchase it, make sure it is compatible for your camera. I have a link in the description to the best extension tubes for Canon or Nikon. Okay, so with this extension tube, you can detach it into three parts to get different variations. It's 30, 26, and 12 millimeters, and all of them attach and detach by fitting it in and turning. To attach it to the camera, it's just like a normal lens. You put it in and then you twist it. And well, if you're like me, you, you're gonna have problems putting it in because you don't know how to put a camera lens in a camera. Now to get some samples, we're going to shoot some very basic things just so that you guys can see the performance and ease of use. Before we actually get into shooting, I want to say that I'm not a professional, so don't expect too much. And that's exactly why I got this lens, because I didn't want to pay too much for a fairly new hobby. Now let's go see what we got. Alright, so the first picture is a picture of my Campanotis Irritans, Ants, uh, Ant Queen. And well, you can see that if you zoom in, it's not entirely focused, but that's my fault. And over here we have another flower. These ones are getting better because I uh, did get practice, and... Over time, using this extension tube, you guys can get way better using it. And then here I started taking some photos of some insects. Here's a uh, type of fly. Yeah, so here you can see the ant, very precise. You can see the hairs on the legs and all that. And then this one's one of my favorite personally. It's a, a spider. I'm not sure which which type, but um, this was a tiny spider, maybe like two two millimeters. And, uh, well, you can see that you can get really close and good quality images. It doesn't degrade the quality of the image at all. And then I started some, taking some photos of some flowers with water droplets on it. Here again. Some really nice photos I took with, this with these extension tubes. This is my favorite of that flower. And then that's pretty much it. So well, guys, you have seen it. That is what an extension tube can do. Now those photos were shot to the best of my ability. For good macro shots, it's not just to get as close as possible. For most of these, I actually only used the 36mm by itself, but did sometimes use all of them to get 68mm. For many of my shots, I didn't get too close to the subjects, but if you use a lens that has zoom like this one, then you'll be getting really close to the subject so I really recommend getting a light with this so that you can have a light on the spot and you don't have to rely on natural light. Getting an AF1 would really be useful so that you can change your aperture on the spot and use autofocus if you want. And now to answer the final question, is it worth your buck? Well I mean like, yeah, for $30 you can get this, that's not bad. If you're planning to make money with this, then it'll surely do to start you off, even if you're a hobbyist. You can, it's cheap and effective at doing its job. The only bad side I can think of it is that you have to move the camera and the lens closer to the subject so they can focus. This makes it that the light gets blocked off. So this is why you have to uh, pay for an additional light or you can just use some LED light. And again, I'll leave a link down in the description to the best Nikon and Canon uh, extension tubes that you guys can get for the best price. It'll really help me out if you guys if you guys can go use that link. So guys, as always, don't hesitate to ask me any questions down below. I always answer within one hour and respond. 
So if you have any questions or comments, tell me down below. Also tell me whether I should make this a series where I get a full macro setup using alternatives and cheap methods. Vote up there if you want me to do that. And that is it for this video. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace.